Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video because I'm going to mention five fragrances that I think are worth all the hype, all the hype in the world. I love each and every single one of them. I would repurchase them in the heartbeat and I think they're worth every single penny. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. Of course, I'm gonna start this list with the infamous Baccarat Roche 540, not the EDP. Let me say that again, not the EDP. The X-ray version on my skin is so much better. It pulls more woody, spicy, almondy, wears thicker, heavier, creamier, it's just to die for. And I love to layer it with so many different scents in my collection. So this one has the notes of bitter almond, saffron, Egyptian jasmine, cedar, ambergris, woodsy notes, and musk. I get less sweetness, more woodsy base, and that's why I love it so much. The almond touch, 12 out of 10. Perfection. I don't care how many people own this. I don't care if it's too popular. I just love the way it smells. It's worth every single Penny. Another fragrance that was very widely talked about, especially here on YouTube, Angel's Share from Mr. Killian. <sighs> love, love, love it. This is such a sweet, gourmand, boozy perfection. Apple pie. That's how I would describe this fragrance. I love it. I think it deserves all the hype it gets. It has the notes of cognac, cinnamon, tonka bean, oak, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. And the bottle itself, look at this. It's timeless, it looks beautiful on your vanity. You cannot tell me that this is a mediocre looking bottle. It just really captures the essence of this fragrance. Now talk about tuberose of your dreams. Rouge Maliki, I adore the scent. This is a tuberose bomb so you have to be into tuberose because it is an explosion of tuberose but the way it's done here is so it's not even likable it's lovable it's so smooth fluffy and sensual and sexy and feminine and just just heavenly heavenly divine fragrance so here we have tuberose pink pepper, and clary sage in the opening. And then we have tuberose, jasmine sambac, ylang ylang, benzoin, cashmere, and orange blossom. And down the base, we have tuberose and amber. And that amber warms up on your skin and just creates the most beautiful, sensual, layer that you just want to kiss and be around and smell. You just feel like a gorgeous, glowing woman. I know it's a pretty penny and some people may argue with me that it's nothing special, that it's just a creamy tuberose, there's a little bit of santan lotion vibe somewhere in the background. Perhaps it's coming from Ylang Ylang, but I love, love, love this fragrance. Okay, now something on the more affordable side and that is Kayali's Vanilla 28. The layering fragrance. I don't have to talk too much about this fragrance because it's been widely reviewed, talked about almost everywhere. I think this is a perfect fragrance or the perfect fragrance if you want to sweeten up any fragrance that you already have. I layer with so many different fragrances. Does the job. It has the notes of vanilla orchid, jasmine, brown sugar, tonka bean, amber, amberwood, musk, and patchouli. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's not going to blow your mind. It's just a reasonably priced vanilla fragrance for what it is, in my opinion. I think it's worth the hype. It's been hyped so much lately and i agree it's just worth it lastly we have a fragrance that i love and adore to wear in fall and winter and that is reese charnel by the house of bdk this is parisian chic in the bottle there you go you want parisian chic in the bottle there you go take it thank me later someone said that it smells like spiced chai latte and i couldn't agree more it's a very cozy scent with a lot of chic and elegance that's how i would describe this fragrance this is blended to perfection it's creamy it's milky it's spicy it's woody a touch powdery on my skin but mostly spicy it's a beautiful scent guys if you spray it on your scarf 
and then you get whiffs and wafts of it throughout the day, you're gonna be absolutely in love. So Grace Chanel has the notes of cardamom, love cardamom and fragrances, fig, black tea, iris, bourbon vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka bean. That sandalwood with tonka bean down the base is a match made in heaven. Creamy, dreamy fragrance. There is something special about this fragrance. That is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please let me know which fragrances you consider worth the hype. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you really want to become a bestie, follow me on Instagram, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.